Hey, beautiful friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Robin Graham show. So you guys, I am interviewing today a former client of mine who is just one of the most beautiful humans you will ever meet. So Lily Yang is an a skincare expert. And today we're not only going to talk about skincare, but we're going to talk about how there's a mind, body, soul connection that we all need. We need that in a way that it's really fulfilling. It's really what pushes us forward. It's what helps us grow in life and business. And we're going to talk about how when you when you look good, you feel good. And not to say that we have to focus on not um, just being ourselves and being authentic. We don't have to paint our faces every day. We can take care of ourselves from the inside out, and we can take care of ourselves from the outside in. And the more we do that, the more disciplined we are, the more we're going to have confidence and the safer our bodies are going to be. But also we're going to talk about nourishing our soul and how important it is to have a daily practice for self preservation, shall we say, as well as, um, uh, I guess, what's another phrase I could use? Um, I guess spiritual growth alongside that. So we're going to dive into this episode and I am going to first have Lily introduce herself, tell you a little bit about her incredible journey. And then we will dive into this conversation of how you can start taking better care of your skin, feel better, look better, be more confident, and ultimately have that experience of mind, body, soul connection. Without further ado, Lily Yang, welcome to The Robin Graham Show. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Um, well, I totally agree with what you just said. And uh, um, actually, um, my background, okay, I am originally from Taiwan. Uh, but then I came to this country, you know, already a long time. I think this is my 40, 42nd year. So most of my life is in this country. And, uh, and, and while well, talking about my journey, I was trained as an engineer and I have been working for corporate Americas, you know, many companies. And eventually I was in the management side. I uh, travel around the world and, uh, and the work, you know, um, as a, a manager for many projects. And uh, when I turned 50, I started to see that uh, my skin show the age, okay? And uh, I started to see that, you know, the the, the photo that I, I got was not what I want because it showed that I am so tired. I was haggard. I was, um, my skin was dry and rough and, uh, and uh, you know, um, always, um, Wrinkles, be honest, you know, around my eyes, you don't see it because I was able to reverse it. <laughs> it is amazing. And so I started to take care of my stuff by buying some good stuff from the market. And they worked a little bit, but they were expensive. You know, I kind of started to spend money, a lot of money. And then I started to read the ingredients to find out what actually would work for what, and what ingredients work for what. But then I figure out that those are not what I want to put on my face because I not only want to have beautiful skin, uh, good looking appearance, I also want to be healthy. <laughs> and as an engineer, especially when I was younger, I was a manufacturing engineer when you do manufacturing engineer, you do a lot of process things and you need to be familiar with materials. So I know materials, okay? And I know those things are not what I want for my system. And because we understand that our system, our skin actually is the biggest organ, okay? Mm-hmm. So whatever you put on your face, you you a lot of them will get into your system. It is not a not something that we could kid around, you know, for, for ourselves. So um, so I start to think about how I could, you know, use a healthy um, stuff. And it is very hard for me to source it. You know, I found that most of the stuff actually um, 
have an ingredient I don't want. So I start in my kitchen, you know, mixing things, uh, natural things for my skin. Okay. Also, you know, a lot of people will say that this is only appearance. What matters? Skin actually uh, is the, it will show our health condition. A lot of people, when you look at the skin, you know that they probably have some health, health, kind of health uh, problem. So skin actually is very important, you know, which would tell us a lot about our health condition, about our body. Um, so we not only want to have a healthy skin, we also want to have a healthy food, have healthy uh, lifestyle. So this is a holistic approach. And uh, the skin line that the skincare line that I started is aiming at doing all these things. Um, so I uh, started from my kitchen and eventually I share uh, my friends actually, they not notice the difference and they start to say, hey, you are using something that we don't know. Why don't you share with us? And I was so embarrassed because <laughs> from my kitchen and eventually, you know, I have to do some research because um, my kitchen made spoil very easily two days and they are bare. So I need to find ways to have them um kind of uh, preserve them better. Uh, and little by little, eventually, you know, a couple of friends, they start to encourage me to make it and sell them. And that is a starting, you know, point. You know, basically having beauty for skin means that you need to, you need to be very disciplined to use it, to do it every day certain like a ritual like you know and you need to learn to love the ritual you need to learn to love yourself more um i always believe that if you want to be efficient and effective you need to take care of yourself well yeah so i don't know mm. if this answers the question yes lily yes absolutely so um you know it's funny because when you when you just said that um there's something so powerful in taking care of yourself. And I don't mean like spending a fortune or, you know, going for facials. You don't have to do all of these elaborate things, but just, and I know that Lily, you're going to see this probably later, but if you can take seven minutes out of your morning to do devotions, put, yes. put face cream on, Maybe yeah. use a roller or the, um, I never say this word, right. But the gua sha, gua sha board, yeah. I think it's called yes. like, you know, these tools you can pick up just about anywhere, but when you do these, you can, you actually feel refreshed and you've done just a little touch of something for yourself to give yourself some longevity. Right. And, and maybe skincare isn't necessarily important for longevity of life, but it's, it's important for longevity of personal respect, personal yes. satisfaction. And okay. I think the more disciplined we are with how we care for ourselves, nurturing our mind, body, and soul, the better we're going to feel and the more confident we're going to be. Mm -hmm. Would yes. you agree, Lily? Yes, I agree totally, completely. Um, I could see that uh, when, you know, a lot of women would question me about why it matters. Appearance, anyway, we are all going to get old and we're going to, you know, one day this body won't be existed at all. Why we need to take care of ourselves. I think the very first thing is that uh, when you treasure yourself, you treasure others. When you treat yourself well, you treat others well. When you respect yourself, you respect others. Um, taking care of your appearance is just a one small thing to start. And uh, I always claim that the Lo and Lily's uh, skincare system takes seven minutes in the evening, seven minutes in the morning. Actually, in the evening, I took even less than seven minutes, probably five minutes. And I don't wear foundation. I just do the skincare process and uh, every evening seven minutes and uh, then I go to bed every morning seven minutes and I'm ready to go for the day and uh, I share with Robin before the model is my grandmom um she was born in 1890 
1890, okay? <laughs> if she's still around, she will be 130 years old, something like that. But when, when I was with her, she was already very old, okay? She was in her late 70s, 80s. I was 10. And I figured out that to how she started the day. She got up early, and then she started to take care of herself, wash her face, put stuff on her face. At that time, I was too young. I was only 10. I didn't know what she put, but very simple and some powder thing and, and, and groom her hair, you know, put up, you know, as a bun, you know, beautiful. And then she brought out her Bible and the magnifier <laughs> and start to read her Bible and, and then pray. And at that time, I was still waiting beside her. And then she turned around and said, okay, Lily, are you ready? You know, like that. And she started her day. She made the breakfast for me and she started to get busy. And at that time, she was, I think it was probably early 80s. And, and at that time, I said, well, I would like to be like my grandma. She's a beautiful woman. She was the beautiful, most beautiful woman in the world. But she was an old woman. And so this is my example. We all I, I hope that all the women would be like that. You you could be beautiful. You know, you could be beautiful through all your life. I had uh, an aunt just recently passed away, 103. 103, she passed away in Long Island oh, this January, this year, January. And I still remember that uh, two years ago, two years ago, she was 101. One time she got sick. And then her um, her pastor said, would like to visit her at home. So her son, okay, told her that the pastor is coming. And she said, okay, then I have to get up and I have to put some makeup, 101. And she was sick, you know, had a flu or something. And she said, oh, now I have to get up. I have to dress. I have to put some makeup <laughs> for the pastor to come. Nobody cared. But she cares. She cared. And that was my example too, my model, you know. Yeah, yeah. a woman can be beautiful, even 101. And yes, she was so beautiful. The beautiful think- is not like a pretty uh, teenage girl. It's that kind of uh, inside out, outside in, like yeah. what Robin, you just said, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Lily, you're a great example of this because you do nurture your, your skin. You nurture yourself every morning doing your routine. Mm-hmm. A lot of people aren't disciplined. And I know that's a big deal for you. I'm one of those people and the listeners have probably figured this out about me, but I'm very regimented. I've always been very habitual and disciplined in exercise, eating right, taking care of myself. Yeah. I have wrinkles galore. I'm not as fortunate as Lily (laughs) probably because I was a sun worshiper, right? So I have to to suffer the consequences, but I do use some of Lily's products and they are amazing. (laughs) And I do think they make a big difference. But the key is that when we, when we are disciplined, when we take action, to nourish our bodies, to nourish our minds, to nourish our souls. And when I say nourish mind, body, and soul, that's not just what we do to care for ourselves on the daily basis, but actually also referring to scripture, going to God for guidance, for his wisdom, and really allowing ourselves to grow through him, not Mm -hmm. alone by ourselves. Because I think then we have when we do all three things, nourish our mind, body, and spirit, we're able to feel more confident. We're able yes. to handle problems, yes. to make better decisions. Yes. And all of that comes full circle when we want to have a joyful, successful, peaceful, purposeful, happy life, right? Yes. Yes. Actually, what I could see is that the woman, um, some women, they would just kind of all to themselves. But just like what you said, inside out, outside in, um, we need to take in a lot of things. 
to us, put the stuff on our face that is very material thing. But then what I could see is that uh, you need some wisdom and you need to have an interaction. Like for example, I think I learned a lot from uh, Robin, you yourself, you know, remember that we had those uh, sessions mm -hmm. and uh, I was so busy. And I, sometimes, you know, my, my brain is like flying, you know, with all kinds of things. But then I always tell myself that, well, you know what, each time I want to get certain nugget, <laughs> nugget. You don't need to take everything in because you cannot. But I always said that you need to allow certain nugget to pop up to you. And that is something I, I you know, always like talking about, um, like how can we keep uh, kind of a constantly getting this habit or whatever is that we get award. <laughs> the award is the nugget, okay? Is that every morning when you, when you listen to, you know, a lot of time I listen to the Bible. I listen to the Bible and then certain words will come to me and I just grasp it. And this is the, the nugget I have today. It's like, wow, this is my prize, <laughs> like that. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, that really helped us to keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think something you just said too, is just grasping on to that nugget. And it could be that, well, I want to emphasize, I think that we're not meant to be alone. We're meant to be supported and held up yes. by other people. And yes. sometimes it is a coach. Like when you were work, when we were working together, you needed help with that foundation, your marketing yes. strategy, search engine optimization, all of those things that could build the foundation for your skincare line, Lord and Lily. Yes. Yes. And sometimes that external source could be another person like a coach yes. or a mentor, or yes. that external source could be the Bible or yes. the Holy Spirit and tapping yes. into Yes. The, the guidance, the knowledge, the wisdom that he so generously offers us. But we have to take that action step to seek first. Yes, yes, yes. I think, you know, um, we need to take initiative if we truly care about things, about lives, about a lot of things. Um, talking about that we need a lot of things, that is another reason for Law and Lily. Law and Lily, there are a couple things. First, of course, is for my own need. I need I need good stuff to take care of myself. And also in the meantime, is that, you know, other than uh, my career and Law and Lily, actually I started a couple uh, charity foundation, charity uh, organization and the ministry, okay? And then I found that, uh, you know, I start to think about that. I am close to retire, okay? And a couple of years ago, I was already close to, to retire. So now, you know, you could guess that I am actually ready to retire. I'm in my age, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, so I start to think about that. Okay, one day I can't, I don't continue to bring, bring in money. How can I continue to support, to give to these charity? So at that time, I was um, I was guided, you know, by another friend about this concept, business with a mission. So I thought, okay, since everyone want me to start with a business, why don't I start a business with a mission? And this business is going to hopefully, you know, is profitable to give and. And I did, you know, in the past couple of years, although I, we were not really profitable at all yet, okay, yet, but we give. Another thing is this, this Law and Learning is not, should not be a one-man show. It should be a group of friends who actually make it successful, make it to become a successful business. So I do seek, you know, my background, I already mentioned engineering. So I have to say, I have no idea about marketing sales and I am uh, an idiot on social media. Actually on this one, Robin helped me a lot. <laughs> you know, I, today as well, if you don't do marketing through like a social media, how do you do a business? And 
And I, I did. I was, I was innocent and ignorant, actually. But, but we need to learn. A friend of mine actually yesterday said that, yeah, you know what? Since we are, it says we are not inventor. We at least need to learn to use those invention, right? <laughs> I think I agree with that. Yeah, we cannot invent things, but we could learn to use the invention. And so I kind of encourage myself that, yeah, all dogs could still learn new tricks. <laughs> yes, old yeah, dogs so, can still learn new tricks. That's yeah, cute. Yes. Yeah. And I and, think, yeah. And talking about community, that's why, you know, Lo and Lily would like to play a role to build community, to, you know, gather women together to build community. Yes. Yes. And Lily, you're, you're doing a live event and I would love yes. for you to talk just, just briefly about your live event. And I'll put the yes. link to the event in the show oh, yes. notes because yes. Yes. Lily is actually in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which is just a stone's throw away from where I am. And my son actually goes to grad school there, which is super <gasps> cool where Lily has her lab. So it's kind of a small world, but I would love to share so that if you are local, you could actually attend this event. And if you're yes. looking for an opportunity to nurture your mind, body, and soul, mm -hmm. Lily's special day called Rise and Build, which I'm going to tell you a little secret before I give Lily the mic again, is that she was telling me where the title of her event came from is actually from Nehemiah in the Bible, where he says, get up, rise and build. And so I, I just want to emphasize that because where there is faith, where there is belief that God has called you to something, where there is confidence to take action, God is going to open doors for you to be able to do the things that are on your heart. So I just wanted to emphasize that. But Lily, tell everyone about this event and how what they can expect at the event. Okay. Well, you know, since uh, Lo and Lily, I... um. I got a lot of help from friends, uh, from all sorts of, uh, you know, help, you know, um, the ideas, the marketing, the sales, the art design, the whatever, you know, everyone contributes their talent uh, in this um, business. And so I thought, okay, we should also get together to learn things together. And uh, people asked me about, what this retreat is all about. I said, this is all about women pursue excellence, confidence, health, beauty, discipline, and community. Okay, after COVID-19, a lot of people, they get used to stay, just staying at home, doing their own things. And a lot of time we'll say, oh, uh, can, can, I, can I join on Zoom? But I think we need more than that. We could actually socialize with others. We could have fun. We could have a laugh. We could have a food. We could have everything. So this retreat is a one-day retreat at uh, um, Ben Franklin's building uh, at the mountaintop campus of Lehigh University on January 13th, the Saturday, from morning, you know, 8.30 till 6 o'clock. But you have to register and before November 15, there's an early bird rate. Uh, I think it's $74 for the whole day, the lunch and the snack, the, the whole day drink is, is fantastic, good, you know, healthy. And actually, uh, you will have, you and I uh, am uh, giving a, a $160 free gift, Lo and Lily's free gift for you to start with, okay? Um, the reason, because uh, remember how Jesus uh, said about this uh, parable, that uh, kingdom is like a feast. And I always imagine about how wonderful, you know, the, the kingdom feast, you know? And that is what in my mind to prepare a feast, invite all the women to come and join and have fun and learn, uh, and learn what? Actually, we have all the speakers talking about how you can face the difficulties of life, how you can actually become more successful in your career, how you can have a healthy uh, oral, healthy uh, oral you know, care, 
and that affect the whole body. Okay, how you can eat healthily. We have a, a person who already wrote a couple books, okay, talking about it. And we have a, a woman talking about how to every day, two minutes, massage your face, wash out your face to lift up your contour. Okay, <laughs> look at me. I'm 64. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you have to go check out the YouTube video on this yes. one because I am telling you. Yeah, she looks like a baby. Her skin is so smooth <laughs> and so beautiful. If nothing else, you should try the products because of how Lily looks. It is remarkable and amazing. And I will say that, um, okay, I will put, first of all, I will put the link to the event in the show notes so that anybody who is local, if you want to check that out, I think it's really going to be a day of nurturing mind, body, and soul, which yes. is yes. the most important connection that we can have to not only grow for ourselves, but to build relationships outside of ourselves, whether it's with people in our home, our family, our friends, or our coworkers, or our team, or our clients. Like it's really important to nurture ourselves so that we can then serve other people because we can't serve other people if we aren't caring for ourselves first. And um, so I'll put that link in the show notes, but I want to tell you a funny story. So when I first started looking working with Lily, we, she actually contacted me. This was, I don't know how I remember how many years ago it had to have been at least four, I think where oh. she had wanted me to do photography for her. And she sent me a picture and said, this is my picture, but I don't look like this now because now I have my products and I'm using my products. And she told me her whole journey with trying all these products and the chemicals. And she gave me basically an entire presentation on her products. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I went and met with her in her lab. And at that time, Lily had mentioned this, you know, I did have a heavy emphasis on social media at that time, but we also had a heavy emphasis on search engine optimization and blogging and email marketing and all those things. And so we're standing in Lily's lab, which is this amazing space and on an amazing campus, gorgeous, huge trees, beautiful, all of the things. And I was like, Lily, what if I could help you build your business beyond the photography? And so anyway, we started working together and, but the, the key, the moral to this story is that the picture she showed me from this, when she recognized that she was aging and tired, you would not even recognize Lily from then to now. And there's no exaggeration there. It's remarkable, <laughs> the transformation and just the light that comes through her eyes as well from caring for herself and going from that place of tired and haggard to and looking older to looking young and refreshed and vibrant and energized. And all of that comes when we use products that are, and this is not a sales pitch for Lily's products. However, I will say that I would vouch for them. But the key is when we, when we use products that are all natural and don't have those dangerous chemicals, those toxins, we are so much better off from an entire body perspective, because those chemicals will cause toxicity to build in our bodies. And I just want to emphasize that if you're looking for products that are healthy, that are nourishing, that are not going to cause you long-term side effects, check out Lily's product, or at least look for what the ingredients are in the products that you're consuming or using. Yes. Yes, I really, you know, would love to have, a, you know, um, I think the reason, another reason that I eventually start with Law and Lily, um, I felt that God created us, you know, or um, I would say that we are also different, but all given us some, some born ways gift. And the one of the gifts is that I really like to, um, I like to dress others. <laughs> Uh, you know, I still remember that I always volunteer to do some makeup, you know, for the church, you know, younger um, women when they are about to get married or whatever. And I said, hey, I can actually help you to do this. We could test around and I, you know, I enjoy things like that. I want I, I want women, all women look pretty. <laughs> I don't know why I get excited when I kind of, it's my work. It's my, like my art when I how to uh to dress others <laughs> yeah so so yes how i wish that uh, all women they could see their beauty you know 
I don't see any ugly women. I only see, I really see just lazy women. <laughs> we we shouldn't be lazy and we are all beautiful. Yeah. That's oh, I mean. Billy, you just said something so powerful. And I, we're going to close out on this topic because I love it so much. Every single one of you listening is beautiful. Whether someone in the past has told you you're not, whether you have struggled with your body image, whether you have struggled looking in the mirror and finding the beauty within you, you are beautiful because God created you as a masterpiece. You are a ruby. You are gorgeous. You are stunning. And I want to encourage you to find the beauty within. And let me tell you something. You could look at a person, you could look at two people and find one more beautiful than the other, but both are equally beautiful in God's eyes. Yes. And we should approach each other with that in mind. And I assure you, if you really look, you will find traits, characteristics of yourself that only you have. They are unique to you. As Lily said, we were all made unique. We're all given gifts and we all have beauty within us. And you can find it if you seek it. Lily, would you tell the listeners how they can connect with you, learn more from you, purchase your products? Sure. Uh, uh, you could actually uh, go to the website, uh, www.lordn, alphabet N, Lily, L I L Y dot com. And if you like to send email to me, okay, send to L I L Y at L O R D N, alphabet N, L I L Y dot com. Okay, Lily dot com, Lily at Lily dot com, and you'll reach me. Yes. Yeah, you guys, she is just a shining light. I encourage you to follow her, check out her website, send her an email, like just make that human connection with her and learn more about what she's doing and how she's building community. And I want to add one thing. And I we had someone on the show a couple of years ago to talk about sex trafficking. And this is something that I'm very passionate about. And Lily actually has started an organization where she's very involved with re rescuing victims of sex trafficking. So connect with Lily, learn more because her, yes. her nonprofits may be nonprofits that you would want to get involved with or support monetarily yes, going please. forward. Yes. Yes. We do have a home for girls, you know, in Cambodia. And I hope that, uh, you know, many of you will go with me to visit those girls one day in Cambodia. <laughs> Yeah. Lily's told me about her journey. So remarkable. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. This was my gift to be able, or this was such a gift for me, I should say, to be able to share Lily with you. She is just such a ray of light. She's a beautiful woman of God and doing so many fabulous things to help women nourish, nourish their mind, body, and spirit. And I love that about her. And I hope that you will take that away from this episode to nourish yourself, mind, body, and soul. All right. I love you all. And I will see you all next time.